Hey there, it's Carrie from the Writing Center. And in this quick video, I am going to just sort of review um, why do I have to cite my sources, particularly when we're talking about APA citation style, but really anytime you're using outside work in your own projects. So we get asked this question a lot. Why do I have to cite my sources? Well, first of all, it is the right thing to do. When we are going to use other people's words or ideas in our own writing, we really have a responsibility to give credit where credit is due. So anytime we include information from other sources without giving credit, that is plagiarism. And plagiarism is one of those words that we sort of assume that everybody knows what it means. But um, if you don't, plagiarism is essentially stealing someone else's work and pretending it that it is yours. And sometimes plagiarism happens intentionally. Someone will copy and paste something knowingly, um, you know, that it's not the right thing to do. But a lot of times it happens unintentionally because people just don't realize that they are supposed to give credit for certain things or they aren't sure how to give credit. But plagiarism is a really serious issue. And a lot of times if you um, get caught plagiarizing in a class on a project, you might get a zero on the project. Um, you can actually get an F in the class. And at, at some universities, you can actually get kicked out of the university for committing plagiarism. So we want to make sure that we cite our sources. Another reason to cite sources is because it strengthens our writing. So anytime you add sources to your writing, it adds some authority and credibility to your ideas because they're not just yours. These claims you're making can be supported by other people and other outside sources and, and maybe verified research studies can back that up. So it makes your writing stronger. It also increases um, our chances of getting our point across because if we can show that there's a lot of consensus on the point that we're trying to make or there's a lot of evidence to support it, we have a, a much better chance of getting that point across to our reader. Uh, and finally, citing sources demonstrates our integrity as a writer that we are being really careful and we're giving credit where credit is due, which builds trust with the reader. If they can trust our citations, they're more apt to trust what we have to say in our writing. And also citing helps our reader. So citing our sources lets the reader know that we didn't just make this up and here's where it came from and we're showing them where it came from. And it helps the reader locate your source if they want to learn more. They might be reading your paper and there's a certain idea they, that you talk about and they want to know more about that idea. They can go find your source. So we'll just wrap up by talking about, okay, now that we know why to cite, what do I have to cite? Really in the broadest sense, any information or ideas that you include in your paper that are not your own. So things that are not originally coming from you technically need to be cited. Now, you don't have to lose sleep over this, but some things to think about. So if you are reading outside sources and you're incorporating a phrase from that source, a full sentence, if you're summarizing a paragraph, even if it's just an idea that you got from a source that was not yours originally, technically that should be cited and credited. Certainly if you use a direct quote, whether it's an entire sentence or multiple sentences or even just part of a sentence, that must always be cited and it must also be placed in quotes. But sometimes students think, well, I didn't copy anything. I put all this in my own words. Even if you're paraphrasing or summarizing, taking a big piece of information and condensing it, rather than quoting, you still must cite the source. Anytime you're going to use something like statistics, a data set, you're going to use a, a specific definition you're gonna cite an expert opinion, all of those things must be cited. And really kind of the general rule is anything you're including in your paper that is not common knowledge should be cited. And I guess I just wanna remember that like common knowledge doesn't mean it's common to you. 
it means like the average person in America would know this. So if you're going to talk about uh, the sun rising in the east and setting in the west, the average person knows that. You don't need to cite that. But if you have massive in-depth knowledge about football and you're going to just rattle off some stuff that you just know, you got to be a little bit more careful about that because the average person might not know that. My last and best tip is when in doubt, cite it. If you are including information in your paper and you're wondering, gosh, should I cite this or not? Always cite it. Over citation, like too much where you don't need to cite is, is maybe a little bit annoying for the reader, but it's not really a problem. But under citation, not citing something that should be cited is plagiarism and that's a much bigger problem. So we want to avoid that. So I hope that this was helpful in terms of understanding why we need to cite our sources and what we need to cite. If you need help with your writing or you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us in the Writing Center.